interviewer Trish Soulsby. And I am now joined by Blair Burgess. We're looking ahead to, of course, Jughead Action. He sends forward Living With Art. And actually, Blair, uh, this is a horse that seems to have just gotten real good in her last four starts. She's on a four-race win streak. Has that got to do with any particular thing that you found out about her? Uh, nothing in particular. I think we just had a kind of a late start with her. She was a little late coming back. We had a couple small problems with her in the spring and uh, tried to get her tightened up in a hurry and uh, at the Meadowlands there she had a tough trip in her uh, mistletoe chalet elimination and just missed qualifying by an inch or so but ever since then uh, we we uh, chickened out of going to the fan Hanover because of that I guess and took the kind of undercard route and I uh, went to the Meadows for the Adio Volo and uh, she just got brave racing uh, racing against those horses. How important is that factor being brave coming into a race like today? Very important. Confidence is uh, very crucial, I think, uh, coming into the jugout. What about your confidence in her? I've got a lot of confidence in her. She's she's a small filly very, uh, and small of stature, but she's very well bred, and she's uh, very tough. I've maybe never trained a filly that's, that gives as much as she gives. Well, that's really wonderful to hear, and I'm sure that makes you feel really good. They say that you have some very distinct ideas about training, and one of them is treating them as an individual. Is every horse an individual? Oh, certainly. I think any, any probably good trainer has to look at them that way. If you don't, uh, uh, you're just not going to get ahead. I think uh, just like a, a human athletes, I think they've all got their own individual problems, and you've got to consider them. You talk about her toughness on the track. Is she tough off the track in the stall as well? No, she's actually a pretty quiet little girl. She looks after herself, and the only time she gets a little mad is right after the race. you got to watch her. She might kick you or something if you're not paying attention. But once uh, she settles down and, and knows she's back home, she's pretty quiet. All right. Well, that's nice. I'm sure that you're, you've got your eyes open for that. What about uh, becoming familiar with horses when you're working around them? Is that something that you just had a natural feel for, or how did you get started in the business? Um, I've been messing around with the horses ever since my father claimed a horse, probably when I was about 10 years old. And I, I trained a few horses uh, even be af before and after school, all the way through high school and university. And the uh, first thing I did when I got to university was uh, do it full time. Well, today you have uh, last year's winning Jugget driver in Dave Pallone at the helm. A good choice. I hope so. I hope it works out and we, he can repeat. All right, I hope so for you, too. Uh, last question I wanted to ask you is, a lot of times people get superstitious when they work around a horse, particularly on big days like today. Superstitions in your camp? Definitely. I would never change anything. I, you know, same, make sure the same equipment, you know, don't change a shadow roller or a back pad. Or, you know, I, I, try to, I, I, I try to do most of the things the same way. All right, Blair, good luck today, and thank you for joining me. You're welcome. Back Blair, over to the infield. Blair Burgess also had a hand in bringing back Western Ideal this year. The